We're at lesson 9.4 and we're going to relate fractions, decimals, and money. And the previous videos for chapter 9 are linked in the description. We can write a money amount as a fraction or decimal. Money amounts are usually written as decimals because the cents are written as parts of a dollar. One dollar is equal to 100 cents. Cents can also be written as fractions. And money amounts more than a dollar can be written as a mixed number. So if you remember from second grade, this is a dollar bill and it's worth 100 cents. It's one dollar. This is 25 cents in value. It's a quarter. This is 10 cents in value. This is a dime. Five cents in value. It's a nickel. And one cent in value. It's a penny. When we count the value of coins, we start with the greatest value and count on. So if we have one quarter, one dime, and two pennies, we start by counting with the quarter. We have 25, and then a dime, that makes 35, and the two pennies makes 36, 37. We have 37 cents. So start with the largest coin and count on. And four quarters equal one dollar. We write it as a dollar sign, a one, a decimal point, and then two zeros to show there's no cents. That's four times 25 is equal to 100, so four quarters would be one dollar or 100 cents. One quarter, which is 25 cents, is equal to 25 hundredths. There's one quarter that's worth 25 cents, it's 25 of 100 parts. It's equal to one-fourth of a dollar because we need four of them to make a dollar. And two quarters is equal to 50 cents. That would be 50 hundredths. We'd have two quarters out of four quarters. It's equal to half of a dollar because 50 and 50 makes 100, right? So that'd be half of a dollar. Half of a dollar is equal to 50 cents. We write it with a dollar sign, a zero in the ones place, a decimal point, and then a 50. So one dollar bill is 100 parts of 100 cents. It's equal to 100 cents. We'd have 100 hundredths of a dollar. One dime, that's 10 cents. It takes 100 cents to make a dollar, so we need 10 dimes to equal 100 cents to equal a dollar. And 10 cents is equal to 10 hundredths of a dollar. It's 10 hundredths. And one penny, that's one cent, we need 100 pennies to equal 100 cents to equal one dollar. One cent is one hundredth of a dollar. It's just one little square here shaded in. It's one hundredth. And we can think of dollars as whole numbers to the left of the decimal point. We can think of dimes as tenths and pennies as hundredths to the right of the decimal point. We write a dollar sign to show the decimal is a money amount. We have one dollar and twenty-four cents, two dimes, four pennies, makes the twenty-four cents. With a one in the ones place, that means there's one hundred pennies, and there are one hundred pennies in a dollar, so a dollar twenty-four is equal to 124 pennies, or 124 hundredths. It's one dollar and 24 pennies. It's one and 24 hundredths. We can shade a model to show the money amount. Then we can write the money amount and a fraction in terms of dollars. We have Two dimes, two nickels, and two pennies. Dimes are ten cents, nickels are five cents, and pennies are one cent. 
we start counting with the greatest value. We have 10, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32. We fill in 32 squares and shade them in out of the 100. It's equal to 32 cents. It's equal to 32 hundredths of a dollar. We shade the model to show the money amount, then we write the money amount and a fraction in terms of dollars. We have one dollar, we have a quarter, we have two dimes and three pennies. We have one dollar, so we can write a one in the ones place. We have 25, 35, 45, 46, 47, 48, we have a dollar 48. And this dollar, we shade in one entire square of 100, and then we shade in 48. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, because these are columns of 10, and then we shade in 8. It's equal to 1 and 48 hundredths. It's equal to 148 hundredths. Now here we have a table, and it's only partially filled out. We've got some missing sections that we need to finish. It says complete the table and show how money, fractions, mixed numbers, and decimals are related. We see bills and coins. We have one penny. It's written. The amount is a dollar sign, a zero in the ones place, a decimal point, a zero in the tenths place, and we have a one in the hundredths place. We need to write this as a fraction or mixed number. We can see as a decimal, it's written as one hundredth. We can write it as a fraction as one hundredth. For the next one, it says we have three dimes. And the money amount is 30 cents. As a fraction or mixed number, it's a fraction as 30 hundredths or three tenths when it's simplified. We need to write it as a decimal. We can write it as a decimal as 30 hundredths. We can write it as a decimal as tenths, because those would be equivalent decimals. Here it says two quarters and two dimes. How would we write that as money? Well, it's giving us a clue here as a fraction it would be 70 hundredths or 7 tenths, and as a decimal, it would be 70 hundredths or 7 tenths. That'll help us write it as money. We can just write it like this and put a dollar sign in front of it, couldn't we? We can use the information that's already in the table to help us fill in one of the empty sections. Here it says we have three $1 bills, two dimes, and one nickel. For money, it's written as $3.25. As a decimal, it's written as 3 and 25 hundredths. We need to write it as a fraction or a mixed number. And because there's dollars here on the left side of the decimal point, we can write it as a mixed number as 3 and 25 hundredths. And we can simplify this. That's one quarter. We know there are four quarters in a dollar. We can write this as three and one fourth. So as a fraction, it can be written as three and twenty-five hundredths or three and one fourth. If we had 99 cents and we added one more cent, it would equal 100 cents. It would equal one dollar. There'll be a digit, not a zero, to the left of the decimal point, because we've now made a dollar when the amount is greater than 99 cents. We can stack them and line up our decimal points nicely and add 99 cents and one cent. We do nine plus one is 10. We regroup the 10 to the tens place and we put a zero down. We do 9 plus 1 is 10 again. We regroup it to here, which is the ones place for dollars or decimals, 
and we put a zero in this tenths place. So this would be the tenths and the hundredths, adding them like decimals. We have one dollar. And in a couple videos, 9.6, we're actually going to be adding decimals. So this will give you an idea of what we're going to do. We need to complete these empty spaces to tell the value of each digit. So here we have a dollar four. How many dollars is here in this amount? It's one dollar. And how many pennies are in this amount? It's one dollar and four cents. That means there are four pennies. Now we have it written as a decimal. How many ones do you see? So remember, this is tenths and that's hundredths. I see one whole, so that's one one. And how many hundredths are here? It's one and four hundredths. There are four hundredths. Now we have three dollars and sixteen cents. We need to write the amount of dollars. There's three, and for the 16 cents, how many dimes and pennies are there? We can see there's a one in the tens place, so we can say there's one dime and six pennies. So written as a decimal, how many ones are there? There's a three in the ones place to the left of the decimal point, so there's three ones. How many tenths are there? There's a one in the tenths place, so there's one, just like there's one dime. And how many hundredths? There are six in the hundredths place, just like there are six pennies. We have three ones plus one tenth plus six hundredths. Tala has one quarter, three dimes, two nickels, and five pennies. She gave her sister 20 hundredths of a dollar. Write as a money amount the amount she has left over. So we think, well, the first thing we need to do is count Tala's money to solve this. She has a quarter, three dimes, two nickels, and five pennies. A quarter is 25 cents. Three dimes would be 30 cents, two nickels would be 10 cents, and five pennies would be five cents. We add the value of her coins. Five plus zero plus zero plus five is a 10. We regroup to the tens place and put a zero down. Now we add one plus two is three, plus three is six, seven. Put a seven here. And there's no dollars. She has 70 cents when she started. And it says she gave her sister 20 hundredths. Well, 20 hundredths is equal to a zero in the ones place and a two in the tenths place and a zero in the hundredths place. That would be equal to 20 cents. So she gave her sister 20 cents. She had 70 cents. We subtract because gave means to subtract. She gave it away. 0 minus 0 is 0, 7 minus 2 is 5. We have our decimal point. There's no dollars. We write our dollar sign because we're talking about money. We know that Tala has 50 cents left over. So remember as you're counting the value of coins to start with the greatest value and count on. Our next video, 9.5, is going to be word problem solving with money. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.